Our oceans play a pivotal role in regulating global warming. None more so than the Southern Ocean, which encircles Antarctica. Although the Southern Ocean occupies only about 30% of the world ocean, it absorbs about three quarters of the total oceanic heat uptake and approximately half of the carbon going into the ocean from the atmosphere, helping to shield us from more rapid climate change. This is because of its unique pattern of circulation. It is the key region where deep waters rise to the surface, allowing new water masses to form and sink back into the ocean, taking heat, carbon and oxygen with them. This exposure of deep waters to the atmosphere is fundamental to the exchanges of heat and carbon, as well as one of the main mechanisms by which warmer northern waters reach the Antarctic and cause ice to melt. So, the big question is, what will happen to this circulation as our climate changes? The Natural Environment Research Council's £8.4 million orchestra programme was created to observe, record, model and predict changes in how heat and carbon are stored and exchanged in the Southern Ocean. Led by the British Antarctic Survey and working with national and international partners, NERC scientists used ships, satellites, robotic floats, gliders, moorings and aircraft overflights to gather valuable observational data over a five-year period. Orchestra strength is really the synergy it brings between modelers, observationalists and people who understand the ocean theory. Individually, any one of these tools is not really enough to understand the problem as a whole. We really are allowing us to have a more holistic view of the Southern Ocean and its impact on climate. It's really important to model the Southern Ocean as well as to take observations. And that's because models help us to understand really what's going on. We can do all sorts of different experiments and models that you can't do in real life. Orchestra supported 10 research vessels, three aircraft flights, and over 250 terabytes of modeling data. One of the key results of Orchestra has shown that the Antarctic bottom water, this very densest layer of cold, salty water that actually fills the entire ocean basin, has been reduced over the past 30 years. This is climatically really important because Antarctic bottom water is one of the few places where heat and carbon and oxygen can actually be injected right into the depths of the ocean and be sequestered there for a long period. By not doing so, this uh, heat and carbon remains in the atmosphere and potentially has significant climate feedbacks on all of us. We found that future projections of ocean temperature around Antarctica suggest that up to 80% of the benthic creatures, this is creatures on the bottom of the ocean around Antarctica will be losing their habitat uh, in the coming century. This is really due to the ocean warming and these creatures uniquely adapted to freezing cold temperatures having nowhere further south to retreat to. The results from Orchestra were fed into many international climate assessments such as those by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and have led to improvements in climate models such as those run by the UK's Met Office which will lead to improvements in future modelling of climate. Orchestra's milestone set of observations, models and projections highlight how critical it is that we continue to monitor the Southern Ocean and understand its unique role in affecting climate change so governments and society can adapt and become more resilient for the future. <laughs>